Across the state, many Georgians are concerned with a rising cost of rent. In less than five years, there's been an almost 30% increase nationwide. As many argue, there is still an affordability crunch for a lot of folks. Kalisha Moore breaks down that rent increase and also tells you the story of central Georgians who are trying to find a way to still live within it. After a year-long search for an apartment that's both safe and affordable, Tanisha Washington says she's heard it all. It was a 288-square-foot apartment, and they wanted $800 for it. That is absolutely ridiculous. With a lot of apartments unaffordable for many, she says there's another factor that plays a part in pushing people out. And I honestly feel like the prices that they have right now is catered to the people that's in the military and not for the people that's as you would say, the um, day one <laughs> that's been here when one Robbins was just a small little town. According to a website called Rent Cafe, the average price of rent in Warner Robins is just under $1,200, while the median income is just over $58,000. Unfortunately for most, it's predicted to rise again. As interest rates go up and construction prices go up, and mortgages go up, rent prices follow because people have to cover the investment of their property. So it's, it's, it's tight right now. Greg George, director of economic analysis at Middle Georgia State University says, rising rent comes from inflation and higher interest rates. However, he says there is a silver lining. Next year we'll have a $25 million rollback in property taxes. And that actually does transfer through into rent prices, although it might take a year or two for that to be realized. As renters wade the waters of rising rent, Washington is concerned for herself and all the others trying to make it work. I think about the single mothers that's tackling three and four kids and wondering how she's going to be able to pay her rent. It's not getting any easier for them. In Warner Robins, Kalisha Moore, 13 WMAZ News. Now, last month, Governor Kemp talked about rent affordability during his State of the State address. He proposed spending more than $30 million to fund rural workforce housing. That plan is still pending in the General Assembly.